started in 2009. Um, started by a few people who are still here. One of them is not in the hall right now, but Kitty and uh, Bob. Val and Bob joined pretty soon after. He's also not in the hall, unfortunately. Um, and started in dance halls and like just slowly grew, um, gathering more and more people. Um, it's currently at I think we're just shy of 100 members. Um, it's it's kind of it's sort of, it's the sort of thing that people take up. If, even if you've never played a sport, people tend to gravitate toward it because it has a sort of... It's not like, I guess, GAA, where if you haven't been playing from when you were about four, you're kind of lost at the senior level. Whereas here, you can have never really skated ever and just show up and there's a community of people and teach you how to do everything. And it's just... Plus, it's great practice. It's now Dez, but that's short for uh, Destroy McClure, which is what it started out as. Dashing Trudy Snow. Malibu's Stacey. Pippa. <laughs> There's people doing all sorts of jobs in the league. Um, yeah, it kind of, it doesn't really, doesn't really speak to any profession. I think everybody just finds something in it. We started out as something, like it was always competitive, but it has gotten much more, like, really considering itself or a serious sport and considering ourselves serious kind of athletes, you know, and things of that is really rewarding. I really enjoy the strategy. I grew up playing football and there's about as much strategy as one can expect to find in a football pitch in the side of a road in Ireland. So coming into roller derby, I really enjoyed the practice dynamics of trying to figure out what works for your skill set, not just a general skill set that everyone has. So enjoy that. Well, it's important for me, and everyone does derby is like the family and the community that you get. Such a non-judgmental community. Everyone's kind of on an even playing field here, um, and you kind of get to be who you are. And for women, that's a really great place to kind of instill confidence and strength and power and badassery and that fitness. kind of thing. And fitness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't think that aggression belongs with any group or gender in sport. It's it's part of sport. They're like contact sports are aggressive, but aggression doesn't mean like non-inclusiveness or bad feeling towards each other. It just means that everyone's welcome to play the same game. Like the game is the game, and the rules are the rules. There should be no nothing other than that to be considered eligible to take part in the game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, you hear people giving out about women's rugby, it's too aggressive or whatever, or women in any sort of contact sport or combat sport. Like, it's, you know, it's crap. Like, sports is sport, you know? I think we've kind of reached, with the size that we're at currently, um, it's a good size because we've enough people to help run it and also to participate in several, um, several games and fixtures and stuff like that. Um, for Irish Roller Derby, we have... Um there was a boom, and then the boom dropped off a little bit, but it's found its feet in in the core that are doing it now. Like, the organisation is better, the governing body of Roller Derby, uh, WFTDA, is trying stuff every week. It, that's what makes it better than other sports, because it evolves quickly. There's no 10-year debate over like VAR and soccer, do you know what I mean? It, it, the rules change yeah. quickly and constantly every year. They bring out a new rules package. Some things stay the same because they work. Some things change because the style of the game is developed beyond that and it keeps it fair. So it'll just keep getting better. 